Hello everyone, it's 10 Types, and today I have a really cool deck for you all. It is an Espathra Zadu deck with some other stuff chucked in here. Uh, I got the list off of Limitless, and it was from, let me find it, from H-Man. It's a really cool list, um, and it will be linked down below in the description, the link to the Limitless website, as well as just the list itself. Um, the link to the Limitless page will probably be at the bottom, and it actually won an online tournament, like a 200-person online tournament, so that's pretty good. Um... But in this deck is really good. I think it's this list isn't necessarily perfect. There are a lot of different iterations of this list that you can see uh, on Limitless, on Play Limitless. Pretty much the main focus here is you have Espathra, which is a really interesting attacker. I played this. I played it in Lost Zone. I haven't really played it too much by itself. I don't think on the channel though. Um, but pretty much the main idea here is you have your um, ability Dazzling Glaze, which is really disruptive as long as it's in the active. Your opponent's attack, um, active Pokemon's attacks cost one colorless more. That can be really disruptive. You can also stack it with um, something. There we go. Pokemon League HQ, which does the same thing, uh, but for basics. So Espathra is, is annoying. It's really annoying to have to deal with. And a lot of decks, no decks really instantly lose to it, but a lot of decks struggle to uh, against it. A few decks don't, notably... Um, Chimpao. Chimpao is a bad matchup for this. It's, it's not unwinnable or anything, but it's not... For Espathra, it's really unwinnable because your attack here, Cyball, does 30 and 30 more free energy attached to each active Pokemon <clears throat> for one Psychic, but obviously you want more energy. <clears throat> Excuse me. And more Psychic energies. And we cannot really pair this with Gardevoir EX. In fact, I'd say this is... I kind of want to say it's the new Gardevoir EX because it's like a Psychic deck with energies, but um, it's like not really... It's not that Pokemon's not an attacker. You don't run the guard for it, but you do in Zadu here, which Clairvoyant Sense here says once during your turn, you may attach a basic Psychic from your hand to one of your bench Pokemon and then draw two cards. That's pretty good. Obviously, if you have the energy, then you're drawing and accelerating. It's really nice. The big issue is, obviously, if you don't have the energy, it's not a draw engine. Aside from that, we do have Mew EX to draw cards if our hand is really low. And as I said, Spathra is really terrible against... Um, Jim Powell, the list does run Latios, which is an attacking option. I've never used it in the deck. Uh, I've never used it in a good... Like, I've used it when it's my only Pokemon. But um, this spot through here is, you know, Jim Powell will presumably have no energy on it because its attack discards the energy. And then it can have... It, its attack's cost is two energy, but you put can put more than two on very comfortably. So we do run Bayonet EX, which can stop your opponent from playing item cards, which is really disruptive to Chimpao. It is disruptive to a lot of decks, but disruptive to Chimpao because they want to play um, Rare Candy, but oftentimes they'll Rare Candy before you get this up, but you can also stop Superior Energy Retrievals and Poltergeist here to 16 um, for each trainer in their hand. They reveal their hand, so you do get hand knowledge, but obviously you can hit pretty big damage with this and hopefully one-shot many things that Espathra might not get to, though obviously this is a bit of a risky play. As it might not one-shot those things either. You don't really know before you attack with this. Outside of that, we do run two copies of Fluttermane as well. Midnight Fluttering, if it's in the active, your opponent's active has no abilities, which is really annoying to have to deal with for pretty much every deck. Um, it's not, you know, super disruptive. It's very good against Lost Zone. It's, it's very good there. Um, you don't need it, but it's good to, like, kind of hide behind. You do have Manaphy to protect you. You do have, oh, UEX can copy attacks, which is useful. Flittle, this Flittle is, has free retreat, but has 30 HP. I, I don't know how I feel about this. Free retreat's really nice. 30 HP is really terrible. So, yeah. Um, Besides that, we do run Prime Catchers. The A spec, it's just the best. Uh, we do run a copy of Templar Sino. Buddy Buddy Poff, and you also get really good value out of that. As um, the Nato is 50, the Flittle is 30, Shuffet has 60, and then the Man if he has 70. So you can get many of your basics out with that. Um, yeah, that that's about it. So let's just hop into some games. It's a really fun deck. This is probably my favorite deck right now. It's just it's pretty straightforward, pretty good. Um, it's not super straightforward, though. It's not too boring. But yeah, it's also a deck that you might not always have your first option ready. You often will, but sometimes you won't. But when you do, you still have a backup option, which I, I really like in a deck. So overall, this is probably my favorite deck right now. I don't know. Maybe I'll get sick of it and I'll play it more and I just won't love it. But it's really cool. So let's choose to go first if we can. It's not the end of the world if you go second, but going first is generally better. And many decks want to go second, or some decks want to go second. It's actually pretty split, which is really nice. Um, it's not like super terrible if you don't get what you want. Uh, speaking of not getting what we want, we don't have a basic. 
So that is what it is. Also, we do run Tulip, which is a good card for covering Psychic Pokemon and basic Psychic Energy. Uh, there is an Espather that works with the Tulip. This list does not run it. Many lists do. It gives you immunity and does 140 for two, but then also it, it's 140 isn't a ton. So our hand looks pretty bad, but it's not like unplayably bad or anything like that. So we do start Fluttermane. We'll see what our opponent is running to see if Fluttermane will really do enough, but it's certainly the best starter here. And yeah, they do have a Maridon. So is it does looks like it does look like it might be Future Box, which is not an ideal matchup, but we did top deck a Spathra, which is really nice here. So I'll get down a Flittle and a um a Shuppet. Shuppet we can item lock. And a Spathra we can just attack with. So I think I'll go for a Spathra here. Because that is really good. Uh, and I'll attach to Flittle. We could put down the Flutter main. I'll, I'll just play the Nadu and just pass. Baynet is, you know, item lock is good. Baynet, item locks, shove it, item locks, and not coin flip and does less. But um, this path, as I said, the ability disrupting your opponent's attack cost is really disruptive because uh, it's disruption. Be, uh, and Maridon, obviously, they're probably going to get Maridon in the active. We'll, we'll see if they do. Oh, and fighting energy, that is bad for, for them. It, it won't really help them. But um, so this is kind of interesting. Uh, we do see, I want to say Iron Hands. They, they have not gotten Iron Hands yet. I, I kind of assume they're going to get, okay, there we go. We got Iron Hands in play. Fancy Iron Hands, very glowy Iron Hands. I wish I could turn this down a little, but um, yeah, it's attack cost for three or four. Obviously, that's going to be bumped up to four or five. So that will be nice and will be kind of awkward for them. Let's see, do they have the switch? Oh, they have research. Okay, so they have a pretty decent hand and they're playing a more versatile base deck um, with fighting energy for, I guess there are a few different options for fighting energy, but for, for something... Um, multiple fighting energies for for iron i guess it might just be iron um boulder i was gonna say iron treads uses it but i don't think it does anyway they're they're playing lots of cards um i don't know where they're going here though i wonder if they will uh, iron bundle i would not be shocked if they do but i they shouldn't they, they should not do it here um yeah looks like they won't they would definitely have super added it back in they are getting back live as being weird uh they shuffled iron leaves in two fightings so they just passed. Wow, okay, so they didn't have quite the turn they were looking for there. We have Iona, which I think I'll just play. I mean, it's probably good. Uh, not that Fluttermane, but yeah, Iona will be good here. We'll play Espathra, attached to the active, because, you know, we're probably going to struggle to switch. If not, they're probably going to be able to switch out. That's the big issue if we Iona, but I think it's fine, and I want to play the game, so I'll Iona. It's probably the... I don't know if it's the best play. Looks like we do have a pretty good hand here, though, so I'm going to accelerate an energy... Um, to that Espath rest so we can be hitting a little bit more damage. Then we're going to retreat. We could also item lock. Keep in mind, item lock does not turn off their ability to play tools, so I won't do that. I, I don't love it. Right now we're hitting 90, which is okay. Um, we could put down Mew EX to draw. We could play Flittle as well, and I, I will actually play down this Flittle, which is kind of going to be a little annoying for them to deal with, and I will put down Mew EX because they are probably going to hit me with that Iron Bundle, and then I'll send up Mew EX, and that's fine. Uh, Mew EX does... Oh, is it fine? Yeah, I, I'm, like, worried about the prize trade, if they can take out two... Essentially, two prizes that are worth three prizes, prizes with their Iron Hands, but I don't think that's going to happen. Because they're going to... They're, I don't know, they, it's still going to be three attacks. I think we're fine, I'm just going to attack and kind of just see what happens. And keep in mind, the Iron... Uh, Crowns are going to cause them to do more damage, even though Fluttermane turns off the abilities of their actives if it's in the active, but not the rest of the Pokemon. They do have the tool, unsurprisingly, giving them free retreat. They're attaching to Iron Hand, so they are setting that up. Um, we did send the, uh, the card that I forgot the name of to the bottom of the deck, the um, the Prime Catcher, there we go, uh, because, you know, it, it was not uh, something that we were wanting to play last turn, but now we... Um, aren't super likely to draw into it. We will need to probably shuffle our deck and then Iono. Um, be able to see that again. But then we can potentially knock out Iron Hands. How much... Damn it. So we need to have... Um, so we need to hit 240, which means we need 7 energy on the two of us. That's doable. That's definitely doable. But it's not super likely either. Keep in mind, as I said, Flittle has Fear Retreat as well, which is pretty nice. I wonder where they're going to put energies. I imagine they're going to put 2 on this Iron Hands. I feel like that just makes the most sense. Um... Yeah, so they're going to retreat into that Marida now, which is 40, and accelerates to their bench. Uh, they are going... It's going to hit more than... I don't know. It's hitting um, 
hitting um, 120 now, which is fine. Uh, it, the Mew getting hit into is not ideal, obviously, but it is what it is. Uh, it could potentially matter if they accelerate to one of their Iron Crowns, which they might do. It's certainly possible. But I think they're going to accelerate to this Iron Hands. So if we get the knockout on Iron Hands, that's really good. And they do. So it's going to be a little awkward for them to take knockouts. We're going to Iono. Presumably, yes, we are definitely going to Iono. Get rid of Ultra Ball. And Iono here, I think, is probably fine. Palpad is, like, moderately useful. What do we need? Yeah, we need the Espathra. We don't need it, but it's good to have. And we can go for Item Lock, which would not be super great, but is an option. Pokemon League HQ is also good. Uh, Temple of is not terrible. It could come in clutch at some point, but probably won't. And so we can Palpad and draw some with Mew EX, actually. Um, yeah, Iono's late game could be really nice. Our draw engine is not the best, but yeah, I'll, I'll shuffle those Ionos back in. It lets us draw another card with Mew EX as well, which is always going to be good. Uh, that that those are some ionos okay so well iono now hopefully we hit that prime catcher hopefully we hit multiple energies you know there are some things we're looking for and we did hit prime catcher and we did not hit any energies so uh, that is a little unfortunate uh, i guess i'll just retreat and take the knockout it's not terrible i mean prime catcher as an option later is also nice we could see the deck running more energies we did lose prime uh, no we did lose fog crystal which is not a d ideal Oh, yeah, they get to move their energy as well. I kind of forgot that. I didn't forget it, but I just wasn't thinking about it. That doesn't really matter, but it, it is what it is. It matters a little. I'm kind of kind of rambling now. I'm just... I'm nervous. I, I've been playing against this deck so much, it's not fun to play against the... the uh, I've been seeing a lot of Snorlax, and I've been uh, Snorlax Control, and I've been seeing a lot of Iron Hands, EX, Future Box stuff. So, anyways, they got... no. Okay, uh, please don't hit... Lots of energy. Okay, they hit. They hit three off of four, which is seems a little lucky, but it's fine. Um, they do have four energy on each. We they are not going to go in. Oh no, actually, yeah, they could take a knock on Fluttermane or something for two prizes. I, I don't know. I think they're going to go. I feel like they want to take a knockout on this Espathra. Um, I mean, obviously they they would like to. It's going to be awkward. They're going to Iono. We are going to lose that Prime Catcher. Again, to the bottom of the deck, it's fine, uh, as hopefully we see some energies. Yeah, so this hand's really nice. Uh, or it's not insane, but, you know, Pokemon League HQ I was just talking about was good. They're going to Electric Generator again. I feel like that's a little weird. They, they don't really need more energy. It's not useless, but not super useful. They're going to Town Store as well. I don't think we run any tools, so that won't be super useful. But we can shuffle the deck again for that good old Prime Catcher. And they got Heavy Baton. They are going to hit us for 100. No, sorry. 200 and um it's 240 right no 220 um oh yeah because they only have three iron crowns i thought they had four so now next turn they can potentially take the knockout but i am going to pokemon league hq them first town store then silene i guess and yeah we don't have anything um that's fine though so we are hitting two tents oh we need to just attach one um i'll silene if we get a heads i'll zadu Otherwise, I, I will not Zadu. And we're going to put that energy on top and hopefully something else. Yo, let's go. We didn't even need two heads, but it's it's cool. Um, So what do we need? Energy. I mean, Iona can't be bad, can it? So I'll go for that. And then they're going to have a lot of energy in play, including some on Iron Crown EX, presumably. Um, but they do need a good chunk of energy on Iron Hands as well. So I think I'm just going to go Iono Energy, which just seems pretty good. And then we get to go ahead. Clairvoyant sends onto that um, Espathra as well. And then we are going to play Pokemon League HQ to really force them into a, not a terrible position, but not an ideal one either. They, I imagine I'm going to take a knockout for three prizes on their turn. And then we get to Iono, which is pretty nice. We do have another Pokemon League HQ in the deck as well, which is pretty nice. We get to just hit them for 240. Uh, no other cards you can play. So we're just going to attack now. And yeah, I mean, you can see they just put lots of energy on. So it's really nice to do here. Um, Yeah, there we go. I'm actually going to screenshot that as well. I don't know if that froze for you, but it, it might have. Uh, and then I need to <laughs> they have a lot of energy on. Uh, are they putting all their energy onto that? Why do they have seven energy on their Iron Hands? That seems like bad. Because we do more for each other. We're just going to blow them up. 
Um, that was an interesting play. I would have definitely... Oh, they put one on the Iron Crown. I would have put two, at least. They don't need seven. They need five. Or no, they need six. Um, and we are going to get Ionode, which is what it is. It's to be expected, to be honest. Oh, it's not super expected, but it's fine. Uh, we hit double boss and research, which is pretty interesting. Uh, double boss is not necessarily amazing, not necessarily what we we're looking for, because boss is not bad. It's good, but it's not amazing. Um, I'm also a little scared if they can Iron Crown for three prizes, they will win. Uh, that's not really something they can do particularly easily, but if they do that, it's it's bad. And then you're going to Future Boost Energy Capsule on that Iron Crown. Uh, keep in mind, Future Boost Energy Capsule will increase their damage to the active. Um, actually, no, they almost can, definitely cannot do that. So they're going to Iron Boulder. Uh, that is weak to grass, so it will probably just melt in front of this Espathra as we are grass. And uh, I'll probably just Espathra for a lot of damage here because, it, I mean, that's, that's good, isn't it? So, yeah. <clears throat> And uh, that, that seems fun as well. I could send up Mew EX. Is that the best play? No, I'll send up a Sprather. I think that's the right play. And we're probably going to research this hand away, which doesn't feel amazing, but like we obviously don't want to boss. Uh, we can vacuum, though. That's that's cool, I guess. Gonna gonna loss zone this tool off of their, their Iron Crown. It doesn't matter too much. So we hit him for 270, um, and we only have a 1 energy, so that's good. I, I won't Mew, I, I don't really think we need to use that, and we might just end up discarding something we wanted. I could get a Mew EX of my own going, or I could get Bayonet EX. Bayonet EX is pretty decent. We don't, oh wait, can we Buddy Buddy Poffin for an attacker? Um, wait, no, we can't do that. We might lose if we do that, so I won't do that. Because um, then they could, oh, I could Buddy Buddy Poffin for a Shuppet, but that's not super useful. Yeah, I was going to say I get a Flittle, but then they can knock out my Flittle and Mew potentially with their Iron Crown. It's difficult, but it is possible. So I will fail that. Um, I guess we're going energy on. Um, I can genome hacking and genome hacking. That seems pretty bad. Uh, I guess I'll just accelerate energy to my Bayonet. It also has their two gusset too. So I, I like this option. This guy has 130 HP. It's fine. So I'll stick a second energy on Bayonet. Is, that's kind of good. And we'll just attack. I mean, I'm not really too worried. We could lose this game. I'm not going to say we can't. But... Um, I like her position. Uh, we'll see exactly how this goes, though. And, yeah, we, we did big damage. That's that's the fun part. So, uh, I suppose if they one-shot... Oh, no, they can one-shot UEX for three prizes, but that's, like, hard. That's that's pretty hard. Um, they need to... Uh, they need to play the reboot pod and then, like, go into energy switches or something, which isn't really something that can happen. And we do still have that Prime Catcher, but we don't have a ton of draw ability, so yeah. Also, Io knowing them means that Bayonet EX won't be hitting a ton, most likely. Uh, keep in mind, we can Mew EX to copy something that could be useful on Iron Boulder, I guess. We could go to Sudden Death as well. Actually, no, uh, Mew EX is not super useful on Iron Boulder. They're going to heal up their Iron... Um, what is it? This guy, Iron Crown EX. And Mew EX is hitting the active. So that's to be expected, and it is what's happening. Then they uh, they need a psychic, right? They, do they have psychic? I don't know if we've seen any psychic energies. We've seen two fighting, we've seen two grass, we've seen a lot of lightning, but I don't know. I mean, I'm assuming they're on psychic energies. They're gonna research the hand away. They don't have a lot of cards left either. When they had prime catchers, just ditching it, which isn't good actually for them. They do get Pokemon League HQ out of play, which isn't amazing, meaning that they can attack, but um, or they they're more likely to be able to attack. They failed town store, which is kind of interesting. And so now they are sending up their Iron Crown EX for the Knockout on Mew and hitting into Fluttermane. So right now we're hitting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, no, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's not enough on the Iron Crown. Um, oh, but if we gust them right on, we can we can win. Uh, obviously, if we Iron know that's not, they're not going to have two trainers in their hand, but... Anyway, how many future boost energy caps are they down as well? They do have one left, potentially, and they're thinning a lot, which is kind of weird. I mean, I guess it's useful. Is it? They could deck out. Um, no, maybe they're just thinning to thin. Because they could have drawn more. They didn't have to get anything off the Techno Raider. I don't really know what they're doing, to be honest. They do send up Iron Crown, though. This is super close. I, I really hope we win this. Uh, but this, this is a fun game, even if we, if we lose. Wait, what? 
Oh, I think I think live. I think they they have the net. So I think live is they have it. Um, yeah. I don't, why did live do that? Like why did? Okay, I don't know why it showed that it, they did one seventy and twenty more. I mean, I know why it did because they have the tool, but that was strange. Anyway, so they have um five cards in hand. If four of them are trainers, we have the knockout, but I don't think that's the case. So we have Iono. We can accelerate to a Spathra, but as I said, we're not hitting quite enough. Which is obviously going to be a bit of a problem, is you know not taking the knockout won't really get us there. I do think we could just like ramp up their attack cost though, and that's probably fine. Um, yeah, I think I'll do that. Right now we're hitting one, two, three, four, four, six. Yeah, we're hitting two ten, which is a little short. Uh, I'll town store it, see what we got cooking into there. And we could also prime catch. We could um, I own ourselves. Oh, we can research. Yeah, I'll research. Um, and then hopefully we hit that Prime Catcher, and then we can win if we hit the Prime Catcher, because then we just gust up the Maridon and literally just win. So I will put on League HQ. That is going to be useful, potentially, if we don't win here. And then I'm going to research. I really hope we hit it. Um, we did not know. Bro, what is this? Okay. Um, Prime Catcher has eluded us this game. Okay, so I guess I retreat and um, hope. Or I, I could go for Poltergeist. I, I highly doubt that that's going to work, but we could go for it, but I won't because it seems bad. So I'll just go and hit for, for 210, which is not bad. I mean, it's not ideal. We aren't obviously winning the game by doing this. I could Ultra Ball as well to thin. Get rid of, I guess, this Nadu and this Flittle. Um, or this Shuppet. I don't think it matters. And then we can get uh, Radiant Queen Ninja, I guess. We, we didn't hit any energy, but it could be used to draw stuff later down the line. Bro, Prime Catcher has... You know, a specs are really fun when you get them, but you don't always get them. Uh, and my opponent, like, they didn't use it either. So, yeah, they're just kind of kind of chilling, chilling, not in, in in play. So, anyway, let's see. Do they have it? They need a stadium bump and an energy attachment or a gust, right? There are a few plays they can make here to win the game, and they're close, but um, I don't know if they have it, right? And so they are going to get rid of a Maridon. They can draw some cards. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. They need to play some to draw some. Also, I wonder if we could have won with Poltergeist. As I said, that seemed like super unlikely. We could have Poltergeisted. We could have item locked and like hoped. That that seems kind of silly. They're gonna switch cart. Uh, okay, um, that's fine. It's not a deal, but it's fine. How many gusts do they have as well? We don't have. I don't think we have any switch left. We do see another energy hitting it. They need one more, though, and I don't know how they get that energy on, either. Like, I just don't see how it's really possible. Not that it's impossible, either. And they can like, kind of wait another turn. They're, they're down nine. So they're they're going to Iono for the last card. And as I said, if we get Prime Catcher, well, we don't actually win. We need an energy. We hit Iono. Um, so we can Iono them again, I, I guess. And so they need an energy... So either this card enhances energy, the other card enhances it, or the other card index energy, or it could be something else. Like, they could just not have any energy as well. I feel like they'd only, I don't know if they didn't have any energy in their hand, though. So we do draw Earthen Vessel, which is not what we need. Um, yeah, that doesn't really do anything, does it? We hit, we can hit 150, but that's not enough. So I think we Iono here. I don't know if it matters. Oh, it does. I think the right place Iono. It, it, it doesn't matter very much, but... Oh, I don't know. See, buddy, buddy, poffin, yip de doo. Uh, that I, I won't play it because that'll shuffle. You want prime catch and all that good stuff. But uh, yeah, I'll sideball now and just hope. I, I this is this is really slowed down. I'm so nervous. I'm like super nervous. I mean, they have it or they don't. It's pretty much just that simple. Um, we'll see if they do. Gonna boss his orders. No, they have it. Uh, GG to my opponent. Uh, disappointing to lose, but. Really good game. Uh, I wonder if I misplayed. Comment down below if I misplayed. I definitely could have. Um, and so they have that damage to knock out my Zadu for game. Um, we weren't quite able to capitalize off of everything that happened, as we didn't quite... I don't know. There were some weird things that game, but a really fun game to do to my opponent. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, consider liking, subscribing, hitting the bell, all that good stuff. Sparth was a really cool deck, and I hope you think so too. It's not like super annoying to play against, in my opinion. It's not super... It's fun to play with. But yeah, check out the list down below as well, and I'm excited to see you in the next video.